Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Day seven, the 75 hard challenge. It is Monday morning. We are motivated to get ready. I've just fed the dogs. I need to go and get some dog food, a coffee, then gym o'clock. Gym, sauna, bush. Also, I need to go to my other house at some point today, start cleaning it out, getting it prepared. I'm either gonna sell it or rent it out, so it depends. I haven't actually decided yet, but that's what we're gonna do. See how it gets on. And then, just see what the plan of action is. See if there's any setups to take. I've actually just loaded up my PC now. I tend to not trade on Mondays, but if there's a setup, I'm gonna take it. You know how it is. Feeling positive, feeling good. Starting to get consistent with gym, starting to get consistent with the, you know, with the foods I eat. Muscles don't hurt as much. It'll be interesting to see at the end of next week how I feel, because then that's two weeks doing a challenge, two weeks non-stop, and we are getting closer and closer to finishing, but we're not. We're not, we're quite far away still, let's be honest. It's only been seven days, fuck. And we're hopping on the charts. This is the chart right now. Gold has hit 2630, what the fuck? Holy shit, we are definitely on a bullish trend. We caught some good sales last week here. It was a bit like this. And we actually caught these sales too. However, when you're actually looking at this chart, you're thinking, when's, when's it gonna pull back? And that's all I'm thinking. I know it's, it's hard to catch sales here. No, but if you got the graph mapped out, you got the previous highs around like this zone here. We've already touched the 2601. So the further pullbacks are down here. You've got 2550, which we pull back to. You've got liquidity grab still down here at the previous resistance now going to act as support. And you're thinking, when is it going to pull back to around this level here because it, it will at some point to the five nine and what this is what you do you add an alert Bash. so now when it comes down you get told and then you can jump in and your phone will alert you and that's pretty much <clears throat> now you just wait for that setup and that's what trading all that's that's this is all what trading is and try and do more swing trading than in in intra trading like day trading like in and out of trades then you've opened like six trades up in one day like just wait for the setup to take place then take the setup that's literally all you have to do. So now we wait for the buys at 2593 for platinum. And we'll see how see how the day goes, see how the markets move. And I'll update you if I jump in. Fingers crossed it does push back to where I believe it is. That is when that's the entry point for me. Secured the dog food already. No setup still to take. On my way to the gym now, gonna hit chest and shoulders, I think it is already. Big session to hit today, chest and shoulders. And then I can't wait for the sauna and then but obviously a bit of cardio. Hopefully we'll start to lose a bit of weight within the next end of the week. Two to four weeks is when you should start noticing it. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, no, no real, no real update. Right, time to get the session done. Time to get the gym done. Stinks of sweat in here. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, fucking well stinks in there, Jesus. The thing is, once I come out of this place, it's the good thing. Once I come out of this place, I've completed it completed it apart from like the dog walks and stuff like that in and out got it done for the day that's the only good thing and the achievement when you come out of the gym and you get it all done it's like no other feeling because you just know you ain't got to do it until tomorrow and then you go again and then you go again and then again and again and again so let's get this workout done chest and shoulders we're about to go in hard Oh, just doing incline chest press right now. Oh, I was just speaking to my editor. I'm fucking up with these. I'm on day eight right now. This is day eight. Messed, messed up the days. Because the Saturday and Sunday threw me off. But this is day eight. I didn't even fucking realize. Holy shit. Already day eight. So, time's up by another 10. 10 weeks. That's about 80. So, we're about. Nine weeks out, nine weeks out or something like that from passing this challenge, which is still a long time. So, you know, we're gonna lose a lot of weight in that time. Already starting to pill as well, which is good. But yeah, already starting to see the pill just by gym and cardio every day with no breaks. It's gonna be exciting. Week on week on week on week, better gains, more pilled. It's gonna be interesting to see how we uh, how we're looking in the next you know, three four weeks. Come on. Oh, am I joking? 
Chest done, chest done. Ah, so just got some nice little side raises for shoulders. Gosh. Twenty minutes done. Stop. Don't fall. Oh, don't fall down. Was the hardest one yet for the gym sessions, man. Eighth day, got it done. Time to hop in the sauna. They didn't say it was going to be easy. It's not easy to change shape. I can't wait to get back. See where the trade is, because I've not entered, but I'm waiting for a nice, a nice buy limit five nine two five nine three. I'm waiting for. Fucking hell. So I'll keep you updated, but yeah, quick sauna, go have some fajitas at home, and then might even get a trim today because it is in need. Massive day, massive Monday, up the Mondays, come on. Nearly banked 20 minutes in the sauna, then I'm gonna have a shower, get my protein shake, and then get on with the day. Just a quote that I'm gonna make up, that you're not achieving what you should be, it's because you're not. So fucking lock in and become something that you aren't right now. Brain shakes made. Time to turn off the lights. Adios amigos. Another day, another dollar. Chicken is on, peppers are on, bacon is on. Chicken fajita bacon wrap, come on. Feeling good as well now. After I've done that session, you know, got the sauna out the way, cardio out the way, gym out the way. I feel like I've already completed the day. Still got to take this one on a walk. So I will do that. Obviously, I've got to eat my food first and then I can take him out because he wants to. <laughs> hey, don't you? You want to go out, don't you, my big boy? Huh? <laughs> so I'm going to take him out for a walk, get the steps up. You know how it is. And then I think I'm going to do a live stream today. And a live stream, New York session potentially. Get that done. I'll get, that, I'll get a trim tomorrow. I can't actually be bothered today. It doesn't need to be done today. It doesn't need to be done. Ah! Doesn't need to be done today, does it? But yeah, day day eight of uh, 75 odds. Tomorrow's day nine. If you guys aren't doing a gym, aren't doing any cardio, you gotta gotta put it in. It'll make you feel way better. And if you don't feel like you got it in you, just just get it done. No, what's the word? There's no fucking always saying. I've forgotten it. Don't worry. With mayonnaise, just a little bit. Out. Woo. The heaters with peppers, chicken, lovely, jubbly. Bro, oh, it smells delightful. Just that's all I'm eating today, and then obviously dinner. Probably have porridge, peanut butter, and stuff. But that's about it. That's all you need. Ah. Raspberries, peanut butter. Got some whole earth smooth peanut butter with no added sugar, apparently. And then got some added sugar. So peanut butter, protein porridge, frozen raspberries as well. Nice and hot. It's been in there for two minutes. Mix it up and then you'll see what it looks like in a moment. It ends up like this. That is gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. That's all you need. That is literally your chocolate. Just a quick update with the Great British Pound AUD trade. We're still at entry. Nothing really happening at the moment. We're just waiting for it to obviously go back to reach new highs, but currently pound is just zigzagging today. It is Monday, so markets do move a bit slower sometimes. With this being said, the platinum group was still holding out our 2630 entry round about there, still holding our gold cells. With gold, we want it to come back down to previous major level, which is 2,600 at the moment. And also we have a liquidity grab still at 2,035, which meaning 2,535, sorry, 
meaning you would you would expect gold to push down i mean it's a bit of a gamble trade still it's monday you don't have to trade you could wait for this to set off but the potential return on it's too good to miss out on and i'm believing that momentum will start to dip down as you can see we still need to create lows to form another channel like this there's been no real channel up down up down it's just been bullish a little bit of up down up down at least we come back to retest liquidity down here which we caught but currently the last couple of weeks has just been going up, 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 and we've had no real pullback, so it's been hard to manage it. With this being said though, it doesn't mean you can't make money. It just means when you enter into the trade, you have more of a chance to hit a sell if you're going against the market structure. Now, obviously clearly with gold, we're bullish. It's, it's a bullish market, but doesn't mean you, you enter buyers just because of the bullish market. It's always going to be volatile with gold, but I've got, to, I've got to stop saying, but it's always going to be volatile with gold when trading it during the day or even when you're asleep as there's a new session opening every four to six hours. Hope that's right. Fucking hell. Need to research that. That's just off the top of my head. However, when an opportunity comes, you must grab it and must take it. If you don't and you miss it, you'll be more gutted. You know, it's... Uh... It's getting sad when you get a Waitrose and this is the most exciting bit of my day because it's food. I got some Dutchy organic ham. Oh, we're gonna try it out. Might as well try it out on the channel, innit? Turn it into a food eating channel. Ooh. Oh, it smells. Mmm. Mmm. You know, it's just perfect bit of texture in there. As soon as you bite into it, you know, it evaporates in your mouth. The smell of it. Oh yeah, it smells great. It smells like it smells like it's just come out of a pig. Mmm. Mmm. But is that a nice smell? Yeah, it smells like pig's anus. All together, it's a 7.10. 7 out of 10. Mmm. 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 Just finished the uh the ham. It's actually quite nice. Now it's these bad boys, the herrings. Now Everyone loves food, everyone loves snacking. So you gotta figure out a way that you can snack healthily. Now raw fish has gotta be a metal. Just has to be. It's good for ya. Here we go. Oh yeah. It's raw. It's fishy. <laughs> Can't beat it. Don't know what it is, but there's something about it. Whatever it is, just get inside me, honestly. That is a 9.5 out of 10. Gold is currently running in profits. I'm shorting it at the moment. Hopefully Asia comes in and takes in our take profit. But sea bass tonight, no broccolis allowed here. I'm not gonna eat that broccoli. <laughs> I'm not eating the broccoli, don't worry. Just eating the sea bass. Ooh, very, very nice.